It's wrong. Some days, the keto lifestyle, it's just hard. Well, some days life is hard. But I think that the keto lifestyle is easier than any other way of eating. Eh, maybe you're right. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Welcome to Coffee Talk. Coffee Talk. With Rachel and Joe. Yeah. And today we have an interesting topic, and that is five reasons why the keto lifestyle is the easiest diet to follow. Now we get a lot of comments and questions from people who say, man, I'm getting started on this keto lifestyle and it is tough, like this is hard. And I think it's just more of a matter of, it's not what you're used to. Yeah. You're getting used to an entirely new way of eating and that's challenging. The other thing that we get a lot of, or at least myself when I'm out and people are like, how did you lose weight or what kind of you know, like eating lifestyle do you follow or what is keto? and you tell them and they're like, I can't do that, that's too hard, right? I can't give up my bread, that is way too difficult. Yeah, usually there's some ingredient that is just too much for them, whether you know it is bread or cake or rice, and they're just like, I could never do it because I couldn't give up this ingredient. Yeah, so today we're gonna talk about five reasons why we think the keto lifestyle is the easiest diet. And let's start off with number one, and this one is really simple, the food, is delicious. We get to eat all of the flavorful, fat-rich foods that are super buttery and prime sizz rib. sizzly delicious that most people when they're trying to, you know, <laughs> work toward health goals would never eat. Yeah, you think about what is somebody who is on something like Weight Watchers or just calorie restricting or like doing the gym constantly. What are they eating? They're eating rice cakes. Uh, chicken breast that's been boiled, yeah, uh, right? Like brown rice, lots of salads. And on keto, we're eating bacon, eggs, prime rib, butter, hamburgers, butter. I mean, the food is delicious because why? Fat is flavor. And it's awesome. And when you look at some of the other diets that people go on, they eliminate fat, and here's the thing, when you eliminate fat, the only way to make it flavorful is to add sugar. That's right. why the low-fat products usually have more sugar. But if you're on a diet, you're eliminating the fat and the sugar. So here on keto, we're only eliminating sugar, but we even have alternatives for that. Even our Brussels sprouts are cooked in bacon grease. Yes. That brings us to number two, though, and that is there are less no foods than any other eating lifestyle. Yeah, I mean, everything that we just talked about in number one would be a no-go for most people's diets. They're not eating chicken with the skin on. They're not eating butter and bacon. Those would all be no-nos for them. However, for us, outside of maybe rice and potatoes, wheat and sugar, we eat everything else. Yeah, we have a very limited list of what you can have. When you look at something like, say, plant-based whole food, great eating lifestyle for health, they have a lot of no foods, right? You can't have fat and you can only eat plants. So everything else is like off the table. There's no meat, there's no fat, there's no adding you know, avocado oil to cooking your vegetables. You look at something like Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers is like really like no to fat. If you wanna have it, no problem, but it's gonna cost you. It's pretty much no to sugar. Now if you wanna have it, you can, but it's gonna cost you in points. Uh, they're focusing on pretty much, you can have some carbohydrates, your fruits, your veggies, and lean proteins, but it's a long list of no foods. And you can see that through most different eating plans. Here, 
we have very few things that you're not going to have. You're going to limit your starches, really avoid starches. Why? Because starches are higher in carbohydrates. Right. And you're going to stay away from all the wheat products and all of the sugar products. And by wheat, we mean you can't have any breads or pastas or anything made by wheat. But we do get to have like a quadruple bacon cheeseburger that's loaded with like more butter on top and maybe some mushrooms and just a lot of deliciousness. But if you are missing something, there is usually an alternative. Well, food. that leads us to number three. But before we get to number three, we do have a sponsor for today's video. And since it's coffee talk, I think a good sponsor would be Perfect Keto. Yeah. So Perfect Keto has lots of delicious nutritional products. We use a lot of their products on a daily basis. They make an incredible MCT oil powder that has super clean ingredients. Uh, I happen to really like the chocolate one and the salted caramel as my favorite, but they have lots of different flavors. Mm -hmm. uh, they have collagen, which strawberry. we love. Strawberry is my favorite. You like strawberry. I, I'm tossed between strawberry you like and the peanut, peanut, butter. peanut butter. They're both delicious, except for this is cinnamon toast. This one is really good too. That's, I think, my mom's favorite. Uh, they make some daily electrolytes. Uh, so these have a bunch of your potassium and your magnesium as well as your sodium in there. And they're good clean ingredients and delicious flavors. They also make cookies and bars and they have a few other products, but these are things that we eat on a regular basis. We use on a regular basis. My favorite cookies are actually surprisingly snickerdoodle, snickerdoodle and I don't usually like snickerdoodle. But that one sounds a little empty too. Um, people must be putting their hands in it. No, it's it's actually, it's, pr it's, it's pretty full. Left. It's pretty full. So uh, anyway. Um, Perfect Keto is sponsoring today's video. There is a link down below if you're interested in some of the Perfect Keto products. Uh, if you use that link, you do get a discount off of your first order. We greatly appreciate. Um, if you do need to get anything from them, you use the link below. Please support the sponsors that support our channel. Now we can talk about number three. Number three is there are alternatives usually to some of your past favorite foods. Yeah, you think about a lot of the other eating lifestyle plans out there. And when you're transitioning over from the standard American diet, you're like, you're just never going to get that stuff again. There's just not a lot of alternatives. But on keto, there are a lot of healthy alternatives if you absolutely need something to help bridge your transition over from eating the standard American diet over here to the keto lifestyle. For example, cookies, cookies, right? How many eating lifestyles where you're trying to lose weight, is there something where you can be like, hey, I really want a cookie. Usually if you really want a cookie, you're just cheating, right? Yeah. But here on keto, there are some healthy alternatives. Now, some of them aren't so healthy, but there are products like the Perfect Keto Cookies and a few other ones out there that if you just really want a cookie one day, you're going to a party, you can have a keto option. You just don't want to overdo the keto option. You don't want to live on cookies. Well, of course not. And that, I mean, I think that that's for any eating lifestyle. I don't think anybody is thinking that, wow, I love, you know, I mean, if you're vegetarian or vegan, you're not just living off of cookies. Right. Like, I think everybody has to have those in moderation. But in addition to treats, and desserts, there's also things like pasta alternatives. I mean, we still enjoy lasagna. We're just using something different for that pasta, pasta layer. We're yeah. usually using lunch meat, actually. Right. And it's amazing how, you know, you transition into new ingredients and it works. Same thing for, for breads. We don't use breads anymore, but we can make chaffles. I mean, there's all kinds of things out there. And there are some like bread alternatives out there using different types of nut flours and things like that. And even when it comes to pasta, there are different types of noodles out there. And there's even like hearts of palm and stuff that you can use to make your lasagna. And they're actually really good. That leads us to number four. And number four is that you could modify your keto lifestyle to suit your needs and your active lifestyle. Just because we're eating salmon and chicken thighs, if you don't like those things, there's something else out there for you. Yeah, you know, you see people use the terms like, this is clean keto, this is strict keto, a word that we don't like, like this is dirty keto. Lazy. This is lazy keto. There are different ways. So you can kind of enter in keto the way we did, where you're just gonna limit your carbs and then you can 
slowly work other things out. As we got more into the lifestyle, we started transitioning to using better eggs. We started transitioning to using better quality oils. Using like just the 79 cent eggs at home, that has nothing to do with you keto. That's just the quality of the ingredients. The same thing with the oils. The bottom line is you look at a lot of the canola oils and corn oils and different things like that. They're just not healthy for anybody, but it has nothing to do with keto. But you can kind of decide, what do I want? Do I want sweeteners? Do I not want sweeteners? Do I want to eat total carb? Do I want to eat net carb? Do I want to eat keto products or do I just want to keep it super easy, clean and whole food? Because it's all keto, we just suggest you change the adjective and instead of like lazy or dirty, you use words like beautiful and awesome. Yeah, and that leads us to number five. Which is, this is the proper human diet. This is what our body craves. Our body was designed to be metabolically flexible, to eat this way because if you look at the way our ancestors ate they ate what was available and they ate based on certain times of the year have you ever noticed why do a lot of the starchier carbo heavy vegetables are in season like in the fall because you had to fatten up to get through the winter it's the same thing when you look at the different carbohydrates that you would say are healthy, things like sweet potatoes or your vegetables and things like that, your body was designed to eat them when they are locally grown and in season. Not be eating stuff that is being flown from another country and you're eating it off season. If we only stuck to eating in season locally sourced, which means if you lived in Florida, you never got an apple because they're not grown down here. Right. That's how our body was designed. And then when you couldn't get that stuff, you ate meat and your body would shift into ketosis because it wasn't getting carbohydrates. This is the way our body was designed to eat, which is why it's so easy to get yourself into ketosis. And we do have a bonus one and that is? Keto gives you so much more energy. <laughs> You really do. You have so much more energy when you're on keto. I mean, think about when you were on the standard American diet. The 2 p.m. crash after lunch. Yeah, you would go to lunch and then all of a sudden you come back and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm super tired. I remember when I went to Italy and they used to have those siestas in the afternoon. Right. I thought the siesta had to do with the heat, but maybe it had to do with that, like you need to go home and eat and then take a nap. It was always interesting for me at work because by noon I was starving. Like I felt like I couldn't like go forward with my day until I ate. But then after I ate, I didn't feel better. I felt worse. I was dragging even more. So I was just trying to get to five o'clock. Yeah. Now let us know down in the comments section if there's any other things that you think make the keto lifestyle easier than the standard American diet or any other eating plans. Let us know down below. Uh, also, please make sure you visit our sponsor, Perfect Keto. Let them know that you found them through us and that you like the fact that they support our channel. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we have a little coffee talk, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.